I appreciate what you've done, Mr. Antu, especially on your own. We've had our differences, but uh, we're both loyal to the same cause. Oh, all right. So good to see you again. Mr. President. I believe you know Mr. Antoon. He's brought me some extraordinary information about uh, illegal guns. And uh, well, I felt that you would know best how to deal with it. What the hell are you doing here? You are interfering with a meeting of crucial significance to our future. Now, you just get out of here. I have to talk to you. I do not care if you have to talk to me right now. You are acting with blatant disregard to our plans. Listen to me, El. It's too dangerous. We could lose everything. Why don't we sell this to a privateer and get out now before it's too late? You're starting to sound just like your husband. It is not too late. The Confederacy will flourish under my presidency. After we have destroyed the enemy, all my enemies. Okay, now. Get out of here right now. I have every right to be here. Don't you dare disobey me. And don't you dare talk to me like I'm one of your lackeys. Now, you can't leave. I'll hide in the back. You stay there. You keep your mouth shut. I had a devil of a time finding the place. So would somebody else, uh -huh. I hope. I'm sure you can understand the absolute necessity for secrecy. Dear God, where did you get all this? I do have a number of prominent backers, sir. You've got enough weapons here for a regiment. James. It's time for us to make history, together. Are we going to chop the head of the snake right off? And we are going to make sure that the cut is clean. Now, in order to do that, we need more guns. We need more ammunition. We need your help, sir. You said there'd be no violence. Now, you listen to me. In order to assure the absolute security of our new government, we have got to kill Jefferson Davis. You'd really do that? Any and every officer who refuses to pledge their allegiance to me or to you will be executed, starting with Brigadier General Al Remain. You're the one that's going to die, man. Main. You set me up, didn't you? I may be a fool, Bent, but I am not a killer, nor a traitor. Someone had to stop you. You stopped me? You couldn't even stop your wife from sleeping with me. Half my life with this man, ever since West Point. Every time you meddled in my affairs, every time you injured me, I always knew I'd have this moment. Will you be at my mercy? 
in the Bible. All sinners shall burn in everlasting fire. I'm a sinner too. I'm gonna burn in hell with you, Elkana. Stop it, Ashton. Nothing happened to you. <sighs> but it will. I've done terrible things. I tried to have Billy killed. And I got rid of a baby before I got married. <laughs> Madeline. Madeline. What did you do to her? What did you do to her? Ashton. Tell me, you tell me, or I will kill you now. I didn't hurt her. I, I made her go away from Mount Royal. Made her go away? How? How? Erkina. He had a picture of her mother. <laughs> She was a black whore in New Orleans. <laughs> and when I told her, I told her the mother would die if anyone found out. Damn you, Esther! Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? No. Get away from me. Get out of my sight. Get her out of my sight. I don't ever want to see her again. Get away from me! Well, give me the keys. Too late, Ashton. Too late. Get away from me!